It was the year 1816. A young and slightly overweight female patient applied. She felt a tightness in her chest. Its general symptoms also described heart failure. Rene Theophile Hyacinth Lenach was a French physician. In 1816, he invented the stethoscope, signing one of the most important inventions in human story. Using this new instrument, he studied the sounds produced by the heart and lungs and made a diagnosis with them. Lenach would later publish his seminal works, which he studied by listening the sounds of the human body, first in the auscultation mediate and would be called the father of clinical auscultation by describing for the first time many lung-related disease. On a cool September morning in 1816, 35-year-old Dr. Walking far the courtyard of the Louis Palace in Paris. Lenek noticed that the two boys were sending signals to each other using a long piece of wood and a needle. While one of the children was putting his ear to the hole of the stick, another was scratching the other end of the stick with a needle, and the sound was loudly heard on the opposite side. In the following years, he would write the story of how he found his invention, which he brought to the story of humanity with this event in his book The Loscultation Mediate, with the words he told from his own mouth. But let's go back to the story of our white young woman. An our white young woman with common signs of heart disease researched and investigated. And she appealed to Dr. Lennox. Until that day, chest listening was done with the doctor's ear closed to the patient's chest and listening directly. But neither the weight nor the gender of this patient was suitable for this. Lennox is a little embarrassed and a little helpless. On the one hand, he was listening to the patient's complaints and on the other hand, he was thinking about how to listen to the heart sound. At that moment, he thought of the game the children were playing and he rolled a piece of paper and placed it on the patient's chest in a way that corresponds to the heart and began to listen, putting his ear close to the other end. He could now listen to the patient's heart sounds more easily and this thought paved the way for Lennox to present an invention that would, that would open new horizons for the medical world. After today, the paper roll would be designed by our doctor as a hollow wooden cylinder and called a stethoscope. Later, Lennox would draw a three-step path before him. First, he would examine chest disease and clarify these issues and, as a second stage, he would focus on bronchial, lung and pleural disease. In the third stage, he would deal with disease of the heart and its appendages, explaining and classifying many new disease for the first time. The stethoscope, which is a combination of the Greek words stethos, it means chest, and scope, it means to look was invented in 1816 by René Lenach at the Necker Enfants Malat Hospital in Paris. Stethoscope is a device that we use to listen to the sounds in our body. The physical examination process in which we listen to the body with a stethoscope is called auscultation. There is a diaphragm at the bottom of the device, a tubular tube in the middle, and headset at the top. The diaphragm part is placed on the patient and the sounds in the body vibrate the diaphragm. The acoustic pressure waves form travel in the tube and reach the ears of the listener and spread there. The stethoscope acts as purely mechanical amplifier. The first produced model consists of a wooden tube and has a single outlet. Later it will be developed and take its present form. The first true stethoscope, which Lenek created from wood pipe, was used until the rubber pipe was developed in the second half of the 19th century. Later, the bell part was added to back of the diaphragm part, so that the sound could be perceived. The bell is used with light skin contact to hear low frequency sounds, while the diaphragm is used in tight contact with the skin to hear high frequency sounds. It has seen many changes since the first day of production. It has been made double outlet, its bell and diaphragm have been made into two or three heads. This double-sided stethoscope was invented by Rappaport and Sprague in the early 20th century. With new techniques, electronic and differential stethoscopes have been produced. Acoustic, electronic, fatal, Doppler, 3D printed stethoscopes. There are different types, but the most widely used is the acoustic stethoscope that I hold in my hand. As a final word, the stethoscope is perhaps the only instrument that all doctors use in common. It is one of the most powerful symbols of medicine, and no other symbol has defined doctors so well. It has become both a symbol of trust and a valuable symbol hanging from the neck. While the miraculous invention 
born out of desperation, is narrated in this way, has a very important place in the history of medicine, all of which affects human life deeply.